Pepper spray is coming out, folks. Anybody steps over, back up off the grass. Anybody step over that line, you get pepper spray. Stay back. Stay back. Six a surgeon. That's right. All right. Thank you. Back up. I'm not getting close to you. Don't step on the grass. Anybody steps on the grass, you're getting pepper spray. Can we get that one again? Hey, let me have my camera back. Let me have my camera back. I got it right here. That, 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 that took our camera. Let's go. Let's go. What were these women arrested for, officers? Is there a charge? What were these women arrested for? It only be a lot more. It took a way back there. representing the United Steelworkers of America who are very strongly in favor of, of immigrant rights for all and um, Leo Girard points out that he too is an immigrant and um, this whole problem is caused by NAFTA, by the imperialist programs of NAFTA which have caused a 27% increase in the poverty rate in Mexico and in Central America and as a result it's caused people to have to leave their own livelihoods that were perfectly viable before they owned land new crops and all the amounts of uh, Cargill corn dumped on the Mexican market destroyed their viability and they're forced to come to this country. So we should welcome them and give them equal rights. We're all immigrants in this country except Native Americans. I am here to support um, all the illegal immigrants that are taking jobs that even Americans won't take and without them we wouldn't have most of the food in grocery stores. And I'm here to support people as people, and I'm glad that we're organizing. This is important stuff. I'm glad to be here. Uh, to support the Latin movement that we have going, and um, I think it's great that we're all together and showing that we're united, and um, and we're proud to be here in the states. You know, I'm a third generation uh, Mexican American, and I, you know, want to be here with my kids and uh, and show our support. I think it's tremendously important to show solidarity. We are all immigrants. We need to support each other. Immigrant rights should be the same as human rights. You know, we need to be here to protect each other and stand together in protest of the immigration laws and attitudes that are coming from the Bush administration. And so, power to the people. We are all one. I just think it's important that we all come together and stand up for what what we believe in because I don't think it's right that they're going to categorize all illegal immigrants as felons. I don't think that it's right that they're going to deprive people who want to make like make it better for themselves to come further their education and deport them. I just think that it's great today that everyone comes together united and we all want to stand up for our rights.
why we're going to um, go and stand in front of Gallego's office to um, stand in solidarity with the women who are who got arrested. What did they get arrested for? What, tell me a little more about that situation. They got arrested for, um, we were walking from Arcata to Eureka, and um, we were walking peacefully on the highway when the cops told us that we were not allowed to walk in the safety corridor. And um, we, we passed them, and then they set up a, a, a barrier. And at the barrier, um, they arrested the three girls. Um, so now, no one wants to give us any answers to our questions, so um, we came to the DA's office to see, to get some answers, actually. The reason they were not in any violation of any law, they were brutalized, not just, they were not just arrested, they were brutalized, discriminated, and they were all women. Again. We just want you to use your authority to be respectful right. and to do what's right. Let we want go. those women out. And we'll we leave. want you to use your authority then to Then we'll leave. Sir. Give us a way to leave. We want charges dropped. Give it back to us. Let's go. What? You want me to use my authority to do what's right. Help me get information. And what you're saying, that, I'm you telling you, we were walking down. Okay, let me. We were using our video. Let us get it. No, we're not going to no. show you the video. Really You're going to have to use our yeah, words for it. You're going to have to take. All they had to do was 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 drive alongside. Mm -hmm. But they but they decided they they decided to pull out their batons and and to manhandle and folks and, and to pull out their spray and, and mace and mace folks. And that, I don't understand how 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 yeah. as no got and how there was a threat. There was a threat. And how by by how you guys are protecting. Protecting our rights by having by having by having officers with guns and batons um, mowing down at students. Us. That yeah. doesn't. That, I don't understand that. Three females. Right. Um, for, for, for to, to two, two of the girls are being released. One is still uh, held being and she's being, being detained. detained. She hasn't released her name, and they're keeping her here. So she's That's the third right. one that we That's want. Her. And so we want you to let her go. You could actually, uh, you could actually, what you call that, sue them for that shit. That's that's un, that's improper marriage. Yeah, they do their job. Blood all over you. She's good. And hey, would you mind repeating what you said about the phone? You make trying to make phone calls. Every time I got a hold of my sister, she would ask me what would happen, what had happened, and I told them, told her I got attacked, kept disconnecting me. Um, they just. Didn't want me to talk. They didn't want they me to talk. Because I, I said I got attacked. Cut off. Did you try calling this? <laughs> this cut off. I, would, I think we should talk about Paul Gallegos prosecuting young women who have been violated by the police, not today, not today only, but in the past, and what's happening to the SWAT team that shot Sherry Moore. What are you doing about that? What are you doing about violence against women and violence against people of color in this community every day? When was the last time you pressed charges against the police? When was the last time they were behind bars? Not by choice. When was the last time you spent a whole day down there for what they do to us every single day? We're not the only ones. We're just a few. Thank you.